What's up guys, God bless you all. Welcome again to another video. Today we're gonna to be working with the Sentra. Today we're gonna to keep working with the interior on the Sentra. So my plan for today is gonna to be to wire the white band gauge to the AM FIC6 and I want to hook up the laptop and work with the fuel because it's running race so let's get started. So as you guys can see I organize a lot um, the Sentra. I still have the mess over here and basically all this is brake related stuff because the brake is still iffy. So I'm just gonna start taking all this crap out and get there because that's where the ECU is. Have the white band over here, so most likely I will need to uh, throw a wire for the AEM FIC6. Also, I have my laptop there, and yeah, so I started taking out some stuff. Okay, so I clean up whatever I had here, and over here to go the harness of the AEM basically I have here the two plugs for the FIC6 and if you guys wonder how it looks or you're new to the channel this is the piggyback I'm using to run it so let me get this installed plug it back start the car mess with the fuel and see if the FIC now reads the white band which is that's what I want Okay, so I have here the laptop on with the gauge on. I was just basically messing with this table over here to adjust the fuel because it was idling about 12 and 13. So right now, drop it to 14.7 almost. Um, also, I have the gauges over here. So I have those there. I connect the uh, air fuel ratio, but somehow it's kind of weird. It's uh, 14.5 and this one is just like 10, 11. I still have to figure out this, this gauge over here. So I'm gonna do some research and I'll let you know, guys. So it's been a couple of days after the last clip and this is what I have. I end up sending an email to AEM and this is what they reply back to me. So over here I have the white band and here is the harness that actually uh, comes out of the white band. Of course we have the red which is 12 volts, we have the black which is ground and then another option also over here so over here I have the in instructions for the white band as you guys can see over here the brown is the analog sensor ground and the white is the analog 5 volt input so I wire it wrong and over here is the white one which actually that one, um, this guy over here is gonna be connected to the FIC6, which is here. So over here is the wiring that I have for the AM FIC6. And the brown wire, the input is actually this guy over here. Let me see if I can zoom. This brown wire over here. So this white wire over here from the AM is gonna go to that one. And then this brown from the AM, which is the ground, it's gonna go to any metal ground or chassis. And after doing that, I'll show you. Okay, so I kinda organize the harness right now. So I have stock harness over here. I try to use the factory cover and then I use a couple zip ties and also tape just to hold it in place. Over here just got way too fat so I cannot tuck it in 
but that's gonna do it for now. We have the FI6 over here. And this guy is gonna go mounted on top of the stock one. Just like that. And I'm planning on running the laptop cable all the way through here, kind of around here. And it's, I, I still have to figure out, so. But as now, um, I have that done. Also, I, uh, the wiring is done for the gauge and everything is just packed together the way it should go. So let me put that back and I just wanna I just want to make sure all this area looks clean, that that's what I want. So I end up taking the whole piece out to find the best way to route the wire. Uh, you, and you guys can see, have the piggyback and the ECU over there, so the wire is going to come around here. So I make a hole to pass the wire and if I ever decide to take it out, it's going to be like facing this way, so you guys, I mean, it's never gonna see it, so that's the best way for now. I don't have any drill with the right tools to make it, so I just use a knife and screwdrivers and pliers to get it done. And for not having the right tools, I think it came out very nice. So let me pass a wire through there, put it back, and I show you. Okay, so this is going to be the final product. I have the harness right there it took in. Also, I got the FIC6 hole with a huge zip tie. All the harnesses is stuck and clean as possible. I have the laptop wire running right there. Then just go the way up through here, and it's right there. So I have the hole there, and now I can just put whatever crap I have in there. Which have all this crap. And just people, please pray for Puerto Rico and the islands that was hit by the hurricanes. Yeah, now let's put that piece together. It looks like nothing is back there, like nothing was changed. Pull the cover, the clips there, it's very steady. Um, everything is clean. And here we have all the mess and the wire, so. Now let me just connect the laptop and start up the car. So I have the wire right there going into the computer and now that we have here we just come here connect to the FIC open the gauges that's what we have right now so let's just start the car Gold star, guys. So I have that reading and still hitting up over here for the gauge. And there it is. Amazing. So I end up using this chart that came on the white button instructions. And the way I set up this over here on the laptop, I came to set up over here. Then I came to auxiliary gauge. And then over here on this chart to set up the meter value and the bolts. So all this information as I got it from the from the white band manual instructions. And after I set up that. The white band on the laptop and on the on the gauge and working perfectly. You guys can see they are very close. I'm sorry because it's late guys, I just got out of work. 
As you guys can see, it's very close. All right, guys, so this is the box from the last video, and let's unbox it. Yes, it is a new cluster. So this one is out from 99, 1.6. And I'm planning on putting this one very soon. It's just uh, I still figure out the wiring. So stay tuned for that one. So yeah, guys, there you guys have it. The Sentra has the ECU complete. Also, I was able to connect the Y band to the FIC6. I also clean up the wiring and everything is nice and organized. Also, I show you the new cluster that we're going to be putting in the Sentra. So that's what's coming next. So if you still watching until now, don't forget to like the video, share with your friends. Don't forget to subscribe if you're new to the channel. Thank you for the 160 subscribers that we reached. I will see you on the next one. God bless you all. Have a nice day.